arguably the most important aspect of our interaction with the world around us is our ability to see. Sight is just our brain's interpretation of different frequencies of visible light, otherwise known as electromagnetic radiation. But what would happen if the human eye was sensitive to the entire electromagnetic spectrum? Well, for starters, the definition of electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy that is produced by oscillating electric and magnetic disturbances or by the movement of electrically charged particles traveling through a vacuum or matter. Basically, what that means is that electromagnetic radiation travels in wave pairs of electric fields and magnetic fields, and this is measured in terms of a spectrum called the electromagnetic spectrum. Now when it comes to the way our eyes detect these waves, it's a bit more complex. A retina contains millions of rods and cones that ultimately give us a picture. There are approximately 120 million rods contained in the retina. The rods do not detect color, but they are extremely sensitive, over 1,000 times as sensitive as cones. Although they are far less sensitive than rods, the cones give us our perception of color. In our retina, cones can be one of only three receptors, red, blue, or green. These receptors detect different frequencies and combine to give us colors like orange, yellow, and violet. With these three receptors, we can see approximately 300 different shades of colors. In order for our eye to see the entire EM spectrum, we would need an impossible 75,000 different receptors. With this many receptors, our retina could detect 7.5 million shades of new and literally unimaginable colors spanning the entire EM spectrum. Realistically, EM radiation is everywhere, so there would be such a high magnitude and variation of light that you would probably just see a smudge of rapidly changing colors. Such a dense cloud would basically cause us to become virtually blind to any physical thing in an environment. Not to mention that currently our brain would not be able to handle such massive amounts of information, so the moment you open your eyes you would likely go into shock and die. But let's say somehow we could cancel out everything except for a single part of the spectrum. For example, if our retina was sensitive to just radio waves, many electronics like TVs and radios would glow and we could actually see Wi-Fi hotspots. Because of the background radiation left over from the Big Bang, if we only saw in microwaves, the sky would look as if light beams were shooting down at you uniformly from all directions. And of course, you would see light glowing from the inside of a working microwave oven as well. Seeing an infrared would basically be like having thermal vision, similar to the way night vision goggles work. The more heat an object has, the brighter it would glow, meaning the hottest stars in the sky would shine the brightest. Ultraviolet light is right above the visible spectrum and is found in several different places on Earth, including phones, computer screens, and tanning beds. These objects would emit new light and the UV rays from the sun would cause the Earth to glow differently in the daytime. Unfortunately, seeing X-rays and gamma rays would be pretty much useless so long as you're on Earth because the atmosphere blocks nearly all of them. If you looked up at the sky, you would see nothing at all. But if you were in space for some reason, you would be able to see distant astronomical objects with high energy like black holes and supernova. To sum up, if you could see the entire EM spectrum, you would need a lot more color receptors, your vision would realistically be a colorful smudge, and if you had the ability to use one type at a time, you could see all of the things mentioned.